Hey guys, I got some additional footage here from my time with Smart Summon. I actually thought I lost this, uh, but I ended up recovering it. So I wanted to test walking in front of the car, which is something, you know, that's pretty plausible in a busy parking lot. Somebody may walk in front of the car while it's on Summon, assuming it'll stop for them. And you can actually see here, if you look at the app, as I walk in front of the car, it says waiting for pedestrian right there. Um, so that's really awesome. You know, it's using the cameras to see that somebody's walking by and it stops for them. Now here I attempted to go back up to the car and I don't know if there's some kind of blind spot or something. It does stop for me, but it's, you know, kind of at the very last second. Uh, and then the car just continues on, even though I'm still pretty close. I did include some highlights uh, from my time with Smart Summon in my full version 10 review. If you haven't seen that, I recommend you check it out. Um, otherwise, enjoy the next few clips of this car driving itself. Or up here to the top right, you can hit these crosshairs. Mm -hmm. And then you can move it anywhere on the map. Right. And then it'll make, it should make another blue line. See that? Oh, that's, that's the path. That's the path, right. Okay. And then you hit go to target and it just goes. All right, let's try it out. So you have to hold that the whole time. Yeah, you hold it the whole time. So mm -hmm. for some reason it wanted to back up. Yeah. You'd be able to get it. Uh, okay. There we go, perfect. <laughs> Nobody's in there. That is ridiculous. I'm going to hit advanced summon again, and now I'm going to just bring it to me. Okay. It might back it up the whole way, oh, okay. or it might actually do a turn and come all the way around. All right. I've been at places where it'll just back up yeah. the whole way to me. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you said you use this all the time. I do. You love it. I do. It's it's good. You think it's good? Uh, it's good. There are still a couple complications. Okay. Um, but generally, Look at that. it's it's awesome. I, I've unparked it from my garage, drove mm -hmm. it down my street in front of my neighbor's house, okay. and brought it all the way back backwards, and then back up through my garage. Wow, people don't be mad. Some people get mad when you do it on a street. So uh, it was a private road. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's our route, but we want to see the car, and the owner is going to monitor. So the car is thinking. Okay, let me move here. There you go. So the owner is ready to take over in case they're not comfortable with what the car is doing. Okay, so going around the curb again. We don't have any cars to interact with this time. Checking. It's making sure there's no cars coming. <laughs> That's so weird. I don't know if it comes across in the video, but it's so weird to watch the car do this. Taking its sweet time. And it was on the correct side of the road there. I don't know if that was just a coincidence. Another random stop. Oh, it says disconnected from vehicle. Reconnect. Connecting. Let's continue. Come to me. All right, that was a random disconnect, but here comes the car, right up to plug my car, and there it is, it's happy with that. 